excellence because he's in the shadow cabinet. He meets Keir Starmer every other day. So we need to tell our elected representatives that it's not right for Israel to commit collective punishment. And the Geneva Convention was created after World War II. After World War II, I think it was 1951, 1952, they said, never again, never again, never again. It's not just for one group again, it's never again from every other people. So, we have got other people coming to the stage. Alright, thank you. So next, so next on the stage, yeah, so, so let's use our anger and let's use our voices to let the Palestinians know that they are not on their own. But in Oldham, there's a very, very special group of people. And I'm going to invite her next onto the stage. But let me tell you a little about this group. This group has been going on for 14 to 15 years. They are called the Saddle Earth Palestine Women's Scholarship Fund. And this group supports and gives money to uh, women in Gaza so they could study at university level and get an education, support them and they do some really good work and do you, know, do you know what? Education is really important. Go and seek knowledge. That's what I tell everyone. I'm going to invite Magna onto the stage now. Give her a round of applause for Magna. <laughs> So thank you very much. Um, we are a group of women in Saddleworth and we're uh, allied with a group in Sheffield and we have been supporting women in Gaza and more recently in the West Bank to study at university because when you educate women in the community you raise the whole community. And, and we are women supporting women. And I wanted to bring a message of solidarity to the people in Gaza and the West Bank, the occupied West Bank, from us. And also for you in Oldham to know that it isn't just the communities in Oldham, it is everywhere, even in Saddleworth, that you might think is the most conservative and backwater kind of place politically in the country. We support women. We have been um, uh, able to raise funds for over 700 women to study in Gaza and the West Bank. Uh, as a lot of them have been studying at the Islamic University in Gaza, which has been obliterated this week. It is now rubble. But we are still um, having a fundraiser. We have several fundraisers a year. And we hope that in the future that those women will be able to study again. They study all kinds of things, nursing, pharmacy, French, English, maths, they can use that to support their families and to educate themselves and to lift their children. And uh, we uh, will continue to do that. So I wanted to uh, let you know uh, that about that solidarity work that we do. If you want to know more, there are five of us here. If you can find one of us, ask us or look online. Um, so uh, that is what I wanted to say about the uh, Saddle Earth Palestine Women's Scholarship Fund. On a completely personal note, I want to say that my father was a refugee from Hitler when he was five years old. He had to leave Germany um, with his mother and uh, brother and sister, and his father had gone before. His uncle went to a concentration camp and was liquidated in Sachsenhausen. So I know what it feels like, and uh, I would like to say on behalf of uh, people who have been through that, it is not in my name. It is not in my name. So what is happening to the people in Gaza and the West Bank 
should not be happening and they are doing it in people in the name of people like me and I just want you to know that we don't all feel that way so shalom peace and solidarity everybody a huge round of applause and we're gonna make some noise free free Palestine free free Palestine free free Palestine. from the river to the sea Palestine, from the river to the sea Palestine, all to make some noise hey. well good guys I'm gonna 